Flight of Scholarship, is that where... Oh, Tifa and Aerith. Okay, let's go! Wait, where... Flight of Awakening, Flight of Vagrancy. Wow, there's so much... How do we get there? Wait, is this... This is on, um... Different level. Wh where am I right now, though? It's, it's not where I am, it's a different building. So, I'm gonna... Was it a different building? They just sort of went up. Girls, I'd like to I'd like to come to the seminar too, if that's okay. Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. Yeah, I'll loot you dry, don't worry. You had a room here, didn't you? You're just gonna give me a whole bunch of like planets, mercy, and whatever, right? Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Unable to obtain. No. Money. Moogle medals. Oh, that's a life spring. I guess. Yeah, money. Cash is king. Let's see if we can do some transmutations here. Not enough cosmotite ore. Oh, adrenaline sedative. Beautiful. And then these ones were missing ingredients. Enhance outlaw bangle. It's pretty much it. Headband. I'll just make the Malboro orb. That's fine. Okay, that's pretty much all we got for now. Oh, but we want, um... The stuff that we have 99 of. Pearl Ginger Root. Anything useful we can make? Like Phoenix Drafts. These are useful. We have 99... Yeah, we can change the quantity here. There you go. Maiden's Kiss. Make a few of that. Planet's Blessing, Planet's Favor. Yeah, like we're making a whole bunch of the Splendors. Just to use up our supplies a little bit. Not that I really care about most of this. Okay. Thank you for all the stuff. How big is your storeroom, my goodness? Well, this is huge. Does it link with the other storeroom? All right. How deep does it go? Oh, I think it does. Go back to the other place. Ah! Thank you, thank you. Crystal Megaphone. Kate Sith is busy sleeping right now, but we'll figure it out. Yeah! More materia slots, that's how I like it. Moogle magic, finish off an enemy for the proficiency bonus. This is a... Oh! Use an equipped summon's ability! Interesting! Then whatever summon we give him will matter then. I barely use summons as it is. Titan! Might be more interesting to give you... Kujara? No. Phoenix, maybe, for the revival abilities. I'll give you Kujara. Sure. You can have a lightning materia if you want. Level boost, a luck up. Yeah. Getting real lucky here. <laughs> Why? For what reason? Well, better to get lucky than not lucky? Okay. Reduces damage taken by Moogle. Lucky Jockey. Increases luck by 100. Attack damage. Simple enough. 
Offensive MP Saver. Restorative MP Saver. Offensive. We got lots of work cut out for us once we get back to the combat again. Oh! That red? Oh, there's multiple reds. Look, there's another one in the bottom there. Red's dad. Red's dad is also a red. Right? It's just the, the species of... of canine-like animals, feline-like animals that live around here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, man. Right this way. Okay, thanks. So where we need to be is... Not here, I think. Do I need to take the elevator down? Blessings of the planet upon you. And that's it. Yeah, it's like a different place entirely, right? I think so. Barrett probably knew all the stuff already that they showed us in that beginner seminar. Frankly, I feel like it's stuff that we should have covered way earlier, but hey. Always get to brush up on the basics. Especially because Cloud... Cloud? How does he feel? I feel like now he probably does care about the planet, even if he doesn't show it in like a very passionate Barrett kind of way. But in the beginning, he was all about money, because he is a merc, he's just doing this Souls for the money. Souls returned to the planet through the River of Lights. It serves as both an ending and a new beginning. I would be more than happy to answer. She would any never forsake us, have never abandon us, for we are her children. How's the learning been going, Yuffie? This, this village is lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. Hey, don't talk crap about the people giving us hospitality this here. This village is lame. And don't get me started on the planetologists. I don't have this yet. No. Oh, it's the last one. If you find any other scenic locations, Never let me know. Cosmo Canyon, the last, last snap location. Nobody ever said it was a last open world location. <laughs> Let's not get too happy here. <laughs> right, it's over there. Tell me. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Which would you say is I don't think I will. <laughs> okay, I will. Barret! Would you like to join our seminar? Yuffie, would you like to join our seminar? Yuffie! Yuffie's not from around here, so they might have a slightly different view on all the Mako stuff. Although, they do hate Shinra. We have a common enemy, at least. Please be respectful. I've, uh... Always been Please continue part. on into the I assembly. To physical stuff. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, he... He used to say it was a waste, me spending all my time indoors. According to him, a big kid like me was using twice as much spiritual energy as other folks. And I was a burden on the planet. But he was wrong. That extra energy I received... I'm sorry. That's why I didn't want to walk closer. Bigger kid using more energy from the planet. What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh... Where to begin? I got swallowed by a weapon. I fell into the life stream. Uh. I don't have words to describe it. Except beautiful, maybe? It was... a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long-forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But... there was also conflict. A war... between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. Uh, 
I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. No, T-Farm. It is a bit much when you leave with, I fell into the live stream. Ugh. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. I feel like that was a really big event for t -Fom. I'll see you at the festival. It's a catalyst for a lot of new feelings inside her. Yeah, she was always a part of Avalanche, but she was never... She wasn't for the bombing, I'm pretty sure. She was um, always been more mild and gentle among everyone here. And for her, yeah, she seems pretty... What's the right way to say it? Not sensitive, but you know, in in tune. I, I guess sensitive, but not in like a oh you're so sensitive kind of way, like a just perceptive to emotions and feelings and for someone like that to have an experience. The experience of being swallowed by a weapon and then observing the live stream feels very surreal. And <laughs> No one else around can understand how she feels, too, as no one else has had that experience. Should we go to the festival? The River of Light ceremony will begin shortly. This night comes but once a year, bringing us closer to the planet. I've no doubt you'll feel her grace. I think we should go. Ah, the River of Lights. Once a year. We gather the souls that have drifted to our veil and return them to the planet whence they came. I heartily encourage you to join us in this ceremony. I will. Ah, once a year. I heartily encourage you to join us in- There is no seminar being held here at the moment. Can I help you? No, no. I didn't get to join the seminar at all. I just heard Tifa speak a little bit. So it felt like more the way start? they were all in a circle like I that felt more like a support group. <laughs> ah, it's in that field we saw. For mm. children, she as we yearn Let's to go. The horizon, embrace exploration. Yeah, that field right here. Sun setting. It's beginning. Oh. Is Aerith at the center of this? Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me and Mom and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. No. All Lindenir. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. So I'm assuming your mom and your dad are both your species then? Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. Are you gonna... You gonna go back to talking like that from now on? 
Take me a little bit of time to get used wow, to. So many tourists. Must be quite the festival. Yeah. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. Oh. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? Ooh, interesting. But the desire to protect the planet burns right within their heart. No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Ooh, I thought Barrett would totally be in tune with the pla planetology stuff here. Wow, so many tourists. Must be quite the festival. But not quite, because they're... They're more like on the whisper side, it feels like, because they feel like the, the planet has a set course, a set wow, fate, so a set destiny. Must be quite the festival. And if it is to perish and to start anew again, then so be it. But of course, as the people who are currently inhabiting this Earth, we would like it to continue like that and we don't want to wow, die. So many tourists. Must be quite the festival. I get it, lady. Could you just Some be quiet, please? That rivals even this. The like planet's trying to tell me something. But what? Avalanche, they call themselves. They were young. Wow, the so many tourists. To Must be quite the festival. In their hearts. You see people talking about avalanche. Quench such noble passions. Though their path led them elsewhere. If they ever find their way back. Wow, so many tourists. To Must be quite the festival. To welcome them with open arms. See, even this no guy right here is done. saying that Avalanche had noble ambitions and all that. But then the mentor that Barrett talked to apparently didn't feel that way. Wait to see what they've got planned. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Why do you think that? I just do. I believe in anything else until I see some actual proof. Well, what's happening there? Yeah, I mean, I understand why you think that way, but... Hmm. Huh. At the same time, it's not like there's any proof that nothing happens after you die. How much longer are they gonna be doing this? Oh, hey, man. Man, I can't wait to see what they've got planned. Some say we're like grains of sand on the beach of the universe. Fatalist idiots. Spend my whole life trying to prove them wrong. But sitting here, looking up at the sky, you kind of help yeah, feeling pretty minuscule. They've got planned. Hmm. I'm warming to it. Hmm. Well, Kate Sith seems a little bit different. He doesn't have those relationship dialogue thingies. Wow, so many tourists. Can you please? Must be quite the festival. I'm begging you, lady. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? No. Earlier? You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kind of wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Look at those stars. Some carry a fire that rivals even this. Like the very clear sky today the too. Years ago. Avalanche. Do they know she's an ancient? They shouldn't. That's secret, right? They're letting her do it. So, I'm an ancient. Okay. As in, a steward of the planet. One of those ancients. Or, to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. 
I've been ignored, even hated, and it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear. How do planetology people feel about ancients? It's okay. I would have thought they would love her. Revere her. So my blood's been a curse. But it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life. Friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy, even. And all that pain feels worth it. Not sure if I like the way you say it like that, but I get it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. I'm not sure about just saying you're an ancient like that, though. I thought that was more top secret information. But if you were gonna say it anywhere, to a group of planetology people, there are worse choices. I'm more surprised that they're not clamoring around her being like, Oh my god, tell us this and that about being an ancient. Do you know more that we don't know? Everyone's so good at reading the room. The energy. <laughs> Pretty sappy, huh? No. Meant every word, though. We haven't really had any good talks with Aerith the whole time. Like with Tifa, Cloud has had the argument stuff going on. It was oh my god, Chadley's so, right there. This is where you've been, Nanaki. <laughs> What's up? I believe it is because she is There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that I mean all of you. Join me, would you? So it was nice to what did you all think of the Hear what of Aerith really thinks. For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale Reservoir. Forgotten. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they were even moved to tears. 
It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat, and it pleases me to know that the River of Lights possesses such power. Alas, my heart goes out my to hopes Earth. to parlay their emotional response the into a deeper faced. intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, Miss, dogs, so, birds, and trees. So they know that life is all around them. Be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower, they bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation. Yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. I pray that the planet watches over and keeps all of you from harm on your journey. Okay, Tifa's still with us, and Kate Sif, and Yuffie. I was like, why are they so far away? Hmm. I'm glad to know that Aerith has friends like you to keep her company. Is anyone here gonna do anything about you, Aerith? Yeah, I'm really surprised they're just like... Oh, okay, you're an ancient. Cool. That's pretty much it. She doesn't know much more than the rest of us, though. She doesn't seem to have great control over her own power. And the whole materia being transparent and all. <laughs> well then, shall we proceed? Uh... But I thought this door was... ...sealed so that none may enter. Why, yes. And by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a Watcher of the Veil, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. Well, we're right here. I guess we should do it. And off we go! Oh god, do I have to worry about my party? I don't have Tifa in my party at all, my god. Well, Red has to be here. Now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. Cave of the... G? <clears throat> that orb that he's floating on, is that a materia? Didn't really think about it until now. Or is it just a transportation tool? Has Nanaki told you anything about his parents yet? No. They were watchers. Both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him? Why would I? Oh, I see. Is there a reason why he ran away? To save you? Something like that? Or was he really just a coward? So your mom, I'm guessing, isn't around anymore, but your dad might be out there somewhere. <laughs> From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. <laughs> oh, that would render the trial meaningless. Oh? But if not him. Ah, you do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. Oh, oh, oh. 
Whenever you're ready. Ready. Okay. Oh, now we have a, a red moment here. Is that a vending machine? That's a planetology vending machine. Seriously? Taking it. What else is... Road Warrior Bangle? Eh. Not a straight upgrade for many people here. Snail Shell Bracelet. I can still give this to a lot of people. Eh, maybe buy one for red. Sure. Since you're the party leader right now, Enhance Old Beast isn't good enough. Here we go. Your materia. Okay, Barret and Red. We have to make sure we have the materia and stuff. I think. And maybe some healing would be good. Magic attack power. Invigorating vengeance. Restores HP when activating vengeance. Okay. Yeah, I threw in a lot of random stuff for Red. Barret has healing. Do we have to care about revival and stuff? Is it that tense? Well, no, we can use Phoenix Downs though. It's gonna be- it's not combat simulator. Should be fine. Materia-wise, we really don't have that much. Guess I'll steal a wind materia from Cloud for now. But we have the... the elemental. So hopefully it'll be... okay. You have fire, lightning, hmm, ice. Yeah. All right. Let's go then, buddies. Do we need to? Oh, I'm curious how you'll sit down. Oh. Wow, that was the fastest I've ever seen that loading screen. That was like one second. Red. Increases HP recovery by 10% when receiving healing. That would be good. Okie dokie. Make sure that you are well prepared. That bad? Blessings of the planet upon you. These caves can be perilous, even for seasoned watchers. Be careful. Watcher of the Veil. Are all watchers this species? Hey guys. I'll be back in no time. Yeah. Let's go, Barrett. You gonna watch my back? Yep. Burning holes in you right now. <laughs> what is this? This is a place of deep sorrow. A place where those who have been sealed away are left to mourn their fates. Oh, you know what we're missing? Assess materia. Barrett? No, we should put it on red. I guess. I have a chakra. Warding. This isn't even linked to anything. Oh, it is linked. It's linked to poison. So it means that red can't be poisoned, which is actually quite nice. I'll give you the assess. Oh, we can do this here. Here we go. Snakes. Bugenhagen gonna follow us too? We got All right, this my one time time. just float yourself up into a nook. <laughs> <laughs> Needhog. Snake-like creatures that slither in caves. They possess venomous fangs and can poison their prey by either biting or spitting a toxic secretion. Oh, perfect then. As if I weren't going to already. What the hell are you doing? Fear me! What? What do you mean what the hell I'm doing? Oh, I'm not done Watcher's Respite yet. Hurry up already. Got him now. A little bit of healing. Use all of my vengeance mode gauge though. Now. I don't have fire. All I can do is... Supernal Fervor. Wildfire? Tear into him. Better than nothing. How's this? Coming at ya. Yeah. 
Let's end this. I'm okay with Yuffie now. Maybe now I need to get back to red. Okay, let's shake a leg. Y'all doing good? Manaki, look here. <sighs> Such walls should be well within your power to climb. Approach glowing surfaces and scamper along walls. Stop moving or press circle to drop out, but remember to watch where you land. Yeah, but what's this thingy here? Can we go past here? Oh, it seems like we can, which is... Mm. This place has given me the creeps. Your discomfort is only natural. A fierce battle was waged here. And even after 45 years, the scars remain fresh. What? You're saying the Gi managed Gi. to make it all the way up here? <laughs> okay, somebody fill me in. Who are the Gi? A tribe known to very few people outside of the Vale. The rest you will learn in due time. Of that you can be certain. For now, let us proceed. Oh, I feel like a... I feel like Spider-Man a little bit. I'm just climbing all over. Can you guys keep up? Crimsonite. There might be random stuff that we can find on, on the walls. Oh, ew! What the heck? Okay. Disturbing. Stinger, quadrupedal arthropods that scurry around caves. They stabilize themselves by plunging their hind legs into the ground, allowing them to unleash devastating attacks. Fire or thunder. Now. Ready? Right. Now let's do this. Yeah. Gotcha. With me. Yeah, I guess he's just gonna go back to talking like this forever. Which, you know, okay. Damn it. Ow, ow, ow! Ow! Don't let him now! Coming at ya. There. Going in. Here goes. So a sentinel stance. Can I you, you wanna you attack? Wanna. Anybody wanna attack me? <laughs> okay, I got a little bit of vengeance mode gauge for that. But I had to wait for a long time. Can we hurry up and get Watcher's Respite already? That'll make me really happy. Oh, this place. I only got two legs here, you know. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not making you climb up here. But just wait for me for a little bit. Revival earrings. Oh, that would actually be pretty handy, wouldn't it? Probably, right? Oh, they're down there. <laughs> I went all the way up. Was there anything else? Oh yeah, there was some... crates. Because that's really... Oh god, okay. Hey, where'd you run off to? Whoa! Don't follow me. You can't do that. That's illegal. Bulletproof vest? Doesn't prove my... Oh, I'll have the revival earrings for a little bit. Why not? Oh, I have so... Oh, never mind. I thought you get the revival skill. No, it's the kind where if you die, you you can escape death one time. Never mind. I don't want that. Uh, I'll go back upstairs because there might have been more up there. Damn, if that doesn't look convenient. <laughs> Yeah, maybe there's more. Oh, it's just the hairs. Okay. There's nothing new about this. We should probably deal with that. Sentinel stance. I'm right. At least you tried. Oh, and it does it. It does it until I do a counter. Which is nice. That's pretty nice. Can't get me down. Thank you. You're mine. That all you got. Gotcha. I'll try it again. 
You know you wanna. At least you try. Yeah, they're all just hitting me. They're actually not hurting me at all. Oh, it doesn't last forever. I should have countered somewhere there. Oh. Wait, gotcha. his voice changed a little bit there. Did you hear that? One swipe on it, do it. Now, bleed. Sorry, fear me. Pile it on. Hey, hey, all of you. I got it. Oh, I'm gonna make you howl. Who's up for a bite? Get a little bit of health back for that. I think we did all right back there. We did okay. Don't get too cocky. We did okay. These walls have stuff. Hey, where'd you run off to? Getting free stuff. That's all. No, oh, there's some snakes there. Oh god! All right. Ready? I'm in. At least we got some nice synergy skills and all that. This. Gotcha. His voice changes back every now and then. The watcher's work is never done. Anything cool up there? Just kind of curious. I only got two legs here, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Oh, there's a chest up there. I don't think there was anything crazy, though, judging by what we've seen so far. It's just random miscellaneous goodies. I'm like a bat. I just claw up and get everywhere. All right. Now what? The door may open if you cut the rope. Damn if that doesn't look convenient. Simple enough. Let the trials begin now? Now we let the trials begin? We haven't even gotten there yet. Can I climb up? I think I can. Is it worth it? Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, it's just the uh, two little hey, things. Where'd you run off to? Hey, Barrett, chill, all right? Chill. Whoa, lots of creepy crawlies down there. No time like the present. Let's go, my guy. I haven't been using Barret at all. We should probably do some of that, too. Spider web. Chamber of Folly. You got this. Yes, it's my turn. Overcharge is nice and free. Fear me. Joke on it, asshole. I think we did all right back there. So we're trying to go deeper and deeper down. Bugenhagen is grading us, presumably, for everything we're doing right now. Are we trying to defeat a boss at the end of this? It'll be just like when we were trying to cross the mines. Remember that, Barrett? We had the little golem dude. Piece of cake right here. Sorry to put this yeah, on you. I'll do it. End of the line. Check this. out this shit right here. Overcharge is very nice. Ooh, Let's go. Iron defense. Come Mad go. dash. Go nice work. Good job. The watcher's work is never done. You're not a watcher just yet. So this. Wh what is that? Is that a person in armor? 
Is that a watcher? But the a human kind. Wait. Yeah. Well, now that I've seen it, I feel like I'm obligated to go get it. I only got two legs here, you know. Ah, uh, talisman. Okay. This looks a little bit different. Oh, the true trial? Maybe. What the hell is that? That is a key. It's huge. <laughs> Uh, under normal circumstances, I would stress that you uh, mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the Gi, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first trial. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, will do. Seek the relic of our past. Carry it forth and bring the truth to light. Only then shall the path reveal itself unto you. Fetching artifacts. L2? Near an object to grab it with your mouth. Release it to drop it. Initiating combat will also cause you to drop it. Grab the artifacts scattered around and ask Bugenhagen to inspect them. Okay. So, so we're playing fetch? Nay, that is not the relic we seek. <laughs> that is but a mere bone. Oh, whoops. <laughs> There's gotta be better things around here. The hour of our awakening draws nigh. Well, if it isn't a key arrow, its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. Ye warrior's charm. This a bone? Nay. That is not the relic we seek. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, sorry. I haven't slept well of late. Still got a crimsonite crystal from it. Can't be a bad thing. Oh, I'm not seeing any more on the ground. Anything on the walls? Oh, the tip of the thing is glowing. Well, doesn't seem like there's much here. Oh, maybe up there. Ah, a remnant of our struggles, of our desires. Wait, it looks like I can't actually even. Here we go. There's two here. Wait, I dropped it. Where'd it go? I just wanted to drop both of them down so it's easier for us to get later. Oh, I think I might have... Oh, why did it end up over there? Oh, what? Oh, they think... Okay, <laughs> that's not a thing. I have to carry them back one at a time. I see. Oh, dude, come on. Well, he didn't comment about the other one when I picked it up. Maybe I'll focus on that first one. Yeah, sometimes this world isn't, it's not like free form in that I can carry items like that. It's just not how this was made. I gotta bring it back one by one. Get rid of that thing! Huh? It's 
suffering we stir? Who wakes us from our slumber? I do. Gi Lancer. Spirits of the Gi that perished during the invasion of Cosmo Canyon, now cursed to haunt its caverns. They were sealed underground lest they unleash their deep-seated hatred upon innocents. Exploit their elemental weakness or hitting them with he healing spells. They spin their spears to deflect all range physical attacks. Hitting them with strong close range physical attacks while they are doing this will pressure them. They will not remain dead so as long as a Gi Sorcerer is present. Okay, so it sounds like Barret might not work here. All range physical attacks will be deflected. Good to go? Yes, it's my turn. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot of dodging, but I'm wondering, do you have fire, Barret? You got to leave it to me. Burn. Nice. Going in. Uh. Uh. Coming at you. Oh, no simple. That specter you fought was a fallen key. Even in death. Their lingering enmity manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Mm -hmm. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. We have to gather these statues. Am I bringing it? Wait, what about that one? Guess I'm bringing the statue. At least for now. This is gonna make me drop it. I'll just drop it right here. Looks well, like we're in an Egyptian crypt. Oh, the ghee. I think we did all right back there. Do they really want me to keep bringing this? I suppose so. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I never found out what the other one was. Didn't get to give it to Bugenhagen to look at. What the heck is that? Oh, this is where we use a statue, maybe? Chamber of Observance. Are these altars? Interesting, because my first thought was, are we going to make it out of this place alive? <laughs> its decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, then one could argue that everything has no reason. Regardless, you know what you must do, don't you? Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Restore them to their rightful place. Try placing a statue on one of the altars. Does it matter which one? Oh, Ruby. The Ruby altar stirs. Oh, this is the Ruby altar. I think. Not in the least. 
There is even more statues around here. Amber? Just one more. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Oh, the place is really big. I'm not sure if we've seen... I feel like we're going too far. Yeah, because that one, I'm curious if that's... Watcher's Glaive. Can I still bring that over? Do you still... Ah, oh, okay, you still take it, Bugenhagen. Is this a weapon? Ah, yes. An armament of the veil. The carvings on its hilt should look familiar. Indeed, you'll find the very same markings on your own body. Oh, sweet. Good thing we came back for it. Yeah, I, I didn't think we could carry both things, but I didn't know if Bugenhagen would make the little circle and look at the stuff again. Sweet. Mystic Caller. Siphon Fang HP up. Amount of HP absorbed. Invigorating Vengeance. Sure. Attack damage plus 5. Sure. 5%. Weapon ability damage plus 5%, sure. Got a lot of these slots too. Fire might be a good one, judging by the things we've been seeing so far. Fire. I'll borrow clouds for now. Anyway, I still gotta look for that last statue. Oh, I think I just saw it. No, that's a chest. We can keep going this way, but I don't know if that last thing... Damn, if that doesn't look convenient. Would it be that far? Phoenix down here. There's... Hmm... Mm. Why does that petrified thing look so scary? I can't break it. Oh. Here it is. Yeah, but the moment we pick it up, emerald. These, I guess these are all gee things then. I'm so surprised we didn't fall down there and die. Ah! Oh, precious. Oh, that scared the heck out of me. Even though I saw it coming. Wait, Barrett? Why are you not here? Why are you not here, Barrett? Could he not cross the road Bring it somewhere? And just gotta stay the course. Probably. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I guess they couldn't follow me. Barrett couldn't. That's okay. I got it. Oh, I forgot to look at the proficiency bonus thingy. For this new collar. But here we go. Ah, our sadness sinks beneath stone. The history of the veil is intertwined with the key. 
for they first came to these lands many millennia ago. This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the Key themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Anaki. Wait, we sealed them here after they attacked, right? But you make it sound like they were here to begin with, and then they escaped out of here to attack the Veil. Slight difference there. Mystic Caller. Watch your spirit. Deplete the Vengeance Gauge to increase ATBs of allies. Potency proportional to amount expended. So everything uses the Vengeance Mode Gauge. 